Hey guys, today we're going to be making Palmer Clay frosting with just Vaseline and clay. So, let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to need is clay, um, a Q-tip with like the white sides cut off, like this, any or toothpick to mix or anything, and a tray. I use the bottom like of an ice cream lid as you can see and that works pretty good too so let's get to it as you can see you want the consistency pretty thick on your frost for your frosting kind of like real ice cream frosting and I have pink colored blue I also have green probably can't see that yeah, it's right in the corner. Whatever. Okay, so it's right there. Same consistency, but, but my pink is a favorite. So, And today I'm just going to be making white. So I'm just going to show you how to make that now. And sorry about the talking in the background. They're loud. So, first you just want to start ripping. Start ripping your pieces of clay. Just like that. First, you have supposed to condition it, but I already conditioned it, so just keep ripping it until it's all ripped. So now, what you need to do is get your Vaseline petroleum jelly, and I'm just gonna use a toothpick. Zoom out. I'm just hitting off the lid. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and I have some brown dots in there for some reason, but I'm gonna scoop out some. I'm just actually going to get a little more. Uh, I guess that much is good. But you're probably going to need more anyways. So, and you don't, you do need your fingers this whole that time. So, I'm not even going to use this. I'm just going to use my finger. It's a lot easier. And, you don't like seeing nasty fingers. Just, don't watch. Just don't watch. It gets it's sticky. So just keep kind of squishing it down until you think it's pretty decent, and then you can start stirring it. When it's pretty compacted like this, I would put a little, a little more on your finger and rub it on it, and. Just, Kind of just keep doing that same thing until you think it's good. But this is really hard at first, so okay. It's kind of getting softer, I think. And this is just really kind of hard to do. But I, mean, I think it's really works good afterwards and it even bakes good so yeah okay so I just added more and it's starting to get soft it's still kind of hard but and you can feel it's solid still but it's gonna start to get softer I'm just rubbing it on the my platform kind of tray thing as you can see, and you could start getting your toothpick. My hands are a mess. Ugh. I'm just gonna start scraping in. It doesn't work right now. Okay, so we might not need that yet. I'm just gonna scrape it off right now. Now I'm just gonna condition it a little bit in my hand so it gets softer, I guess. And then put it back down. Now, if you probably you might, you might actually be able to hear me <laughs> squishing it. So, yeah. So it's actually kind of starting to get a little more frosting-like, and my hands are so messy. I mean, this process isn't really that hard. It just kind of takes a little bit longer than. You would probably expect. Probably faster than 
probably slower than TLS because it actually takes conditioning and really hard work. But it's still better than nothing, I think. So just keep doing it and keep doing it until you think it gets pretty thick and smooth, like really smooth, like the pink I showed you earlier. At this point, you kind of want to, oh, my camera's not focusing at this point you just want to add more of the Vaseline and just kind of keep mixing it 